In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make parametric the shape of this YouTube. It's well known that when you have this kind of flow, the shape of the inlet and the shape of the outlet of the band have to be made up asymmetric so to have a good uh, insertion of the flow inside the band and to avoid the touch at the exit. For this purpose, we want to make this part of the band, so not just the toroidal part, but also part of the striped uh, cylinders, parametric. And to do that, we want to have the morphing action here, and we want to control a five cross section. So we want to put a, a, a fixed end here and here, and then make parametric two cross section at inlet outlet and the one in the middle. To do so, we start our BF morph and we use um, a pre-computed uh, solution, the setup that I made. In this case, you have already the result because I have six parameter. I will show you the detail, one X, one Y, two hex, two Y, three hex, three Y. Let's have a look to one, one hex. Uh, all the setup are identical. I load these. And I can show you that this is all based using handcuffs. I have just one domain handcuff, as you can see, and you can see it's the blue one we want to morph inside this volume, and you can see that I have put zero for resolution. I have also inserted five moving domain. You can see the effect of all of them here. And each of these is controlled by a scaling action that is in the radial direction and in the vertical direction. So I have two parameters uh, to scale these and these direction of the first cross section controller for the second and for, for the third. These two will be kept fixed. Let's uh, have a look to the setup. You can see the first one that is uh, uh, fixed. Uh, the second one that is uh, made um, uh, scaling using the scale operator and you can see that I have the 1.1 1 .1, uh, the axis are these three axis I put the origin here so that the shape modification will move just out outward the band uh, and, I, and I can control the X direction to have radial and I can control the uh, Y direction to have a vertical displacement. I do the same for the uh, second shape that is uh, here. Uh, for the uh, third controlled cross section that is here. Okay. And uh, what is important to know is that uh, I uh, tweak and build this basic setup uh, to have it working properly. Uh, this is a fixed end. Uh, and once I have this fixed, I have just to adjust. You can see 111 here, 111 there, and 1.111. It means that everything is fixed and this one with 1.1 1 .1 will be modified but I can easily make other setup in which I put this one and then I change this one and according to this strategy I built six different RBF one for controlling each of these uh, six parameters let's show the effect of this parameter I going to solve so I collect source points I can display the search point that I used. I can preview the search points and you can see that I am just having this scaling action here. You can better notice if you are, uh, enable the overlay because if you enable the overlay you will have the final point and the beginning point superimposed and you can see that just here we are moving. So let's suppress this. You can also notice that I have decided here, as this is a very small problem, to use uh, a second order RBF as it uh, uh, allowed to smoothly 
change the shape so for this problem is uh, uh, the best solution uh, the solution indeed is very fast so once I have the solution I can have a look to uh, the effect so I can uh, morph the mesh and see the result as you can see now in the um, in the screen you can see we are changing here okay uh, I can go back I can try to b make this a little bit more stronger so I can uh, put an, a greater amplification putting to here it means 20% uh, larger as far as the scaling so you can see here how we are shaping this okay uh, I can go back and I can stretch more uh, and you can see that the quality of the mesh uh, indeed is quite well preserved you can see the maximum skewness here and uh, let's make it a little bit bigger and let's try if it's good enough you can notice that the quality is uh, still good and satisfying even if you have changed a lot the curve here so uh, let's go back with the morphing and uh, I will show you how you can uh, uh, superimpose all the parameters to do that I have saved a, a dummy setup in which I have just saved the setup to enable the multi-solution panel here we go uh, so if we go in multi-solve this is to uh, not tweak manually you can see that we have uh, first is uh, uh, 1x 1y 2x 2y and 3x 3y and in this case uh, I have an arrangement in which I have 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 and 2 minus 2 and so we can set these okay and then we can morph like these you can see the effect of this morphing action we have changed the cross section in this case by enlarging in a radial direction the same amount and changing in the vertical direction the same amount okay uh, this is uh, a possible option we can undo and we can also change now uh, the parameters so uh, to have a different effect so for instance we can have that in the X direction we have two then we put uh, 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 four let's make this as three four and then two okay and in the Y direction uh, let's keep these uh, as uh, uh, one and uh, two and then uh, one again this is another arrangement we can set and we can see the morphing okay you can have a look to the result the quality is good of the mesh the, cha the, the shape is really hot you can see and you can easily figure out if we decide to make the shape parametric with these six parameters then using an automatic optimization workflow we can have a quickly idea of what we can get furthermore using these six parameters and coupling RBF morph with the adjoint solver we can also enable um, gradient based optimization in which the parameters are evolved according to their sensitivities this complete this uh, tutorial about uh, uh, shape modification for the U-band many thanks for your attention